Hey, welcome back to the G Skill Train Guys. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Union Pacific Big Boy. Um, now you might notice we're not in our normal setting. Um, that's correct. We're still working on the fence, obviously, um, and that video will be coming out very shortly. But today I had a rare opportunity to go out and witness Union Pacific Big Boy number 4014. Um, running and coming into um, the state of Oklahoma so I got some video of it while I was there um, and a whole lot of pictures and it spent 15 minutes in this little town I don't remember what it was called but we had to travel for a while I didn't remember that um, so I got I'm on top of our vehicle which is a Jeep and I had my tripod set up and I got some video for you guys I'm attempting to leave in the audio and they're is a reason I told you not to wear headphones. It is because this thing is massively loud and I had my um, microphone, external microphone on, and when I was there it was just almost deafening when this thing came through. So that's why I told you guys not to wear headphones. A new Pacific Big Boy is the biggest steam locomotive I believe ever made, but I can at least confirm in the United States of America. As you can see it here coming in. Um, so these wheels are the same that are coming through here. Um, now you see it has some extra water containers, one of which is full of water. Now, the diesel that you are seeing here is not on whatsoever. I can't confirm that. When I was there, it was off. I mean, it was not on at all. All I think it was there was, I think the big boy was pulling it along. I do not believe it was helping pull the train behind it at all. It was all the big boy. Um, so you'll be happy to hear that it... Including the tender, the black tender here that you can see, it is. <clears throat> it's length, overall, 132 feet and 9 and 1 fourth feet. You heard that correctly. 132 feet long. Now, the locomotive itself is only 85 feet long, so it's tender. But it was um, still pretty big, and this thing was just awesome to see in person. Now, I'm not going to talk to you guys for the whole 9 minute generation of this video. I just wanted to talk to you guys for a portion of it, and the rest of it, um, I'm going to put some music to you know, like, unless I can talk to you Um, so, it was just really big, and when this thing came cutting through, it was loud. People were covering their ears. I had my headphones on listening to the audio and I had to um, take the headphones off to see how loud it was. So I kind of need to keep on holding on to it. Um, so here it is itself, 4014. It's on a tour. Um, so you can just search up the new Pacific Big Boy 4014 on your search engine and you should be able to find a schedule of it going around. And you should most definitely see, if you can see it, you can most definitely know it's going to be in Colorado. And today it's stopping somewhere in Kansas. So it's, it's chugging right along, so it's going to be over pretty quick. So if you can, go look out and see it. But if not, just watch this video. And there are plenty of other videos. Um, I remember they also did a double header with another steam engine, um, another large steam engine. So you should most definitely go check those out. Now these photographs here... Um, I took in slightly in front of the engine. They had some gravel piles there. So when the steam engine left, I got up on the gravel pile, which you'll see here in a second. Um, this area had kind of become a center of operations while they were replacing the rails. So you can see some rails here. Kids were finding rail spikes and rail ties and just all sorts of miscellaneous things.
Some other things the kid found, the kids found, were just some miscellaneous things that we couldn't really tell. Um, but it was kind of neat. The engine itself is just very powerful. Um, let me see if I can find the horse powers for you. Give me just a second. And another interesting thing about these, they only made 25, unfortunately. Um, preserved are numbers 404, 4005, 4006, 4012, 4014, 4017, 4018, 4023. 8 preserved, number 4014, operational, remainder scrap, unfortunately. And the cost to build them when they first did them in 1941 was $265,000 per locomotive. That is equivalent to $4.5 million in 2018. So these were not cheap for them to build, even t by today's standards. Let me... I'm still looking for the horsepower for you guys. I don't remember. Um... Ah, power output. Here we go. It could have 5,300 through 7,000 horsepower. today at Coffeeville, Kansas. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, this was Union Pacific 4014.